What's going on guys? This is Joshua the Genius. And I just wanted to share with you guys a quick video about a system that I've been working on, okay? This here is an early 2009 Mac Pro that's now having some issues with powering on, okay? After some triage and an internal inspection, I found immediately where the issue was coming from, okay? If you follow me right here, you can see that there is severe corrosion happening right here on the internal part of the enclosure. This is where one of the fans sits, right, for ventilation into the system. And over here, you can see some rust happening with these internal screws here, here, and here, as well as on some of the transistors here and here. So after showing my client this, okay, they definitely did not want to proceed with repairing the system uh, because repairing these systems, especially with the logic board, um, can get very expensive. So he asked me if we could salvage any of the other components of the system. Um, so in order to do that, I wanted to, uh, you know, basically just take everything out of the system and basically put the system into a minimal system state. Okay, and for those that don't know what a minimal system is, that's basically um, you just the only components you need in the system to get the system to pass was called POST. Okay, and POST is a power on self test. Okay, um, passing POST means that you have enough components in the system for the computer to start booting an operating system. Okay, so that means that the circuit board is getting enough power. That means that the power supply is working. That means you're able to turn the system on. Now you're just working with either hard drive issues or issues with the operating system. But you should no longer work with issues with power because your system passes what's called POST. Again, POST is a power on self-test. Okay, so I just want to just take you through the components that are in this system, you know, just so you, so you can see them. Uh, right here is the processor cage. Okay, that component goes right here. Okay, that processor cage holds, okay, the processors, processor heat sinks, as well as the RAM for the system. And the RAM for this system is 32 gigs, eight sticks, oh, excuse me, uh, four sticks uh, of eight, right? Right there, boom. Here we have two hard drives, one terabyte here and one that's a two terabyte, three terabytes uh, in total. Here we have an optical drive. Okay. Right here we have uh, one of the interior fans. One of the interior fans. And down here we have one of the airport cards. Here. This is your Bluetooth board. Here. Uh, here is the internal battery. Okay, so this helps with the time clock in case the system loses power for an extended period of time. Here is just a little uh, uh, screw covering for your video cards. Okay, your video cards go right here. Video cards go right here. And this is one of the video cards that I took out of the system. The system only had one video card, and that's this one here. Okay, so this video card is about uh, about four to five hundred dollars here. Uh, these airport and Bluetooth cards are not that expensive. Um, I wouldn't say uh, we would salvage those. Uh, these hard drives, definitely salv sal salvageable, excuse me, salvageable. Um, these heat sinks, I wouldn't salvage the memory, maybe. Okay, these RAM sticks, maybe. Um, and then this processor cage is just going to stay with the system. Okay, just going to stay with the system. Um, this logic board definitely needs to be uh, taken out um, and uh, put into a recycle. Um, or do some type of e-waste system uh, here to be properly recycled, but we need to get rid of that. But the components that we can salvage, I think here are the hard drives, two hard drives here, uh, the RAM, um, and also this video card here, okay? Um, so this is what the interior of a Mac Pro looks like, okay? These are the systems that the big professional studios uh, run all of their processing on. Uh, so you're talking about, you know, your big film studios like Disney, um, record companies um, run their studios, uh, their music studios off of these systems. Uh, big design firms uh, run their creative suites off of these systems, okay? Um, you can customize these Mac Pros um, to be very, very powerful computers, okay? These are the, definitely the most popular systems for uh, the creatives out there in the world. So um, if you have any questions... 
um, about the system or about the triage, uh, drop those down in the comments. Um, but thanks for spending this time this time with me. Uh, get in contact with me on Facebook. I have a Facebook page, and I'm also on Instagram. Um, I show some pretty compelling content on there, and uh, definitely be on the lookout for the Joshua Genius Podcast. Thanks, you guys, for watching. Peace.